I guess some of the benefits of dealing with Chain Reaction is that we really try to work with the customer and not sell a product. We carry a lot of nice products, um, Specialized, Giant, um, a lot of other smaller companies that we really try to focus on and are good products, but that's not our focus. Our focus is the people that walk in the door. So when you come in and you're looking for a specific product, we're going to steer you towards a product that's going to work for you, not necessarily what's going to make us any money. We take ourselves professionally. We're not here to overcharge you, we're not here to um, you know, just to make a buck, we really try to focus on people instead of what we're selling you. Um, the products are important, what we carry is important, but that's not our focus. Our focus is on the people that walk in the store. So we really try to educate people, um, get people on what they need, not just what it will make us money. Well, when you come into Chain Reaction, you're not just getting your bike fixed or buying a new bike. You're buying a relationship with the store and with all the talent and skills and knowledge and, and mistakes that we've made here. So, you know, there's no reason for someone to be confused or concerned about uh, safety and traffic laws and rules or how to train or where to go ride. I mean, that's the big thing that you buy here, um, especially when you get a new bike. As far as repairs, the thing you get is, in my experience, 120% perfection. We are trying to promote the sport, so in terms of, you know, fit and how to ride a not how to ride a bike, but how you should be properly fit on a bike and what would be a comfortable style for you to ride is one of our most important things. As a pro fit shop, we, every bike that we sell, we go through and do a professional fit on everyone, even if it's a commuter bike that costs $250 or a $6,000 road bike, it doesn't matter. That's the, one of the biggest services that we provide. We're the only pro fit shop in town. Both owners are trained by Andy Pruitt, the fit guru for specialized bikes who put Lance Armstrong on his bike properly and about a hundred other professional road racers and triathletes. And we share that service and the benefits of that fitting, not just with someone who buys a $10,000 bike, but with someone who buys a $250 bike. And uh, I think that's probably the biggest value that we add to all the, 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 the bicycles that leave our store. I've been to a lot of different cities and this is one of the nicest. Uh, we don't have a lot of public transportation in the sense that of Europe or even some of the systems out west where we, they have light rail system, but it's a very flat city and weather's good most of the year. You get rain in the summer times, but it's a very specific time, um, you know, three o'clock you're going to get rain, so just plan around to that. So in terms of a bikeable city, it's very, very easy. And in terms of recreational cycling, there's lots of mountain biking. All the roads outside of town are very nice, um, pretty low traffic. So there's a lot of good cycling around here. Uh, Chain Reaction Bikes has sponsored University of Florida cycling since at least the early 90s to my knowledge. And it's been a, a wonderful relationship for both parties. We help them out with our expertise and uh, knowledge of mechanics and bikes and racing as well. And what we get in return is the, the joy and pleasure of sponsoring uh, multiple SEC champion ship team and also just the company of young riders that keep coming and going every year so it's a lot of fun. We provide bikes and service to Alachua County Sheriff's University Police Department and Gainesville Police Department for all of their uh, bicycle mounted units and that involves uh, um, officers coming in here to get their bikes repaired um, and although they need it less than most people because they are professionally trained um, any questions or, or you know, advice they may want about their bikes or, or riding. And it's, it's been a good relationship. It's a lot of fun to, to be out in the evening or be downtown and uh, you know, see, see a, an officer on a bike that you worked on or, or put together. It's, it's quite a bit of fun. Um, some advice I'd give to some people that are getting into the cycling lifestyle, whether it's recreational or just for transportation, um, would be that you really just need to to learn to ride the bike with traffic. That's a big, a big thing for any cyclist, whether you're going out on a training ride or going out um, trying to just commute. So you need to learn to vehicular cycle, and that is ride with traffic, not against it or not try to avoid it, because you're gonna have to be with it at some point. Um, there's also a lot of support from the Bicycle Pedestrian Advisory Board here in town, which uh, along with the law enforcement, city, city council, and local government, make sure that everyone's safe on their bikes and that we have good bike lanes, good enforcement. Um, the other thing that's nice uh, is that 
This town, more than any other I've been in, you will find almost every bicycle, or most bi more bicycles than any other place I've ever lived in, have lights on at night. So people are really thinking about safety and traffic and nighttime riding. So it's, it's a great place to ride. It's my favorite place in the country, and I've ridden and raced all over the United States. We're really trying to, to help people in the sport of cycling and keep them in the sport of cycling as a long-term um, goal of ours. Because